The baileys of Dol Guldur are highly fortified, nearly impenetrable, and the finest of the enemy's soldiers defend within. Before the rest of the fortress can be assaulted, these must be taken. Well then, we'll see what one little burglar can do against the finest the, that the enemy can assemble. Oh, now he decides to come along. Well, let him just arrive. And whack him. Uh, I, I think the troll woke up. Uh, well, I could take care of that still. Especially since the soldier likes to tank against the reaver. There you go. Hopefully this will work. I've Between skirmishes, I upgraded my weapon a little bit. Hopefully it'll do me for a few levels. I went from a 59 to a 63. Now if I wasn't so worried about to trying to stay as a you know, I prefer daggers on a burglar. If I wasn't trying to worry about that, I think I could have tried a sword and used that I suppose I could try doing so. I don't think too much in terms of using cosmetic weapons of another type because normally I play a warden and with spears and you can't substitute spears for anything else. It's not like the other. So I don't think in terms of, yeah, let's just use a sword, but keep a cosmetic dagger on me which might be something that could be expedient at some point but I don't tend to do that because yeah I there you go because I'm not used to doing that little trick so I think I could I could have gotten myself a 65 sword without any trouble because I have a bunch of shards and I never spend my shards. Apparently, yeah, you, you can use shards to get a level 65 weapon without any trouble. But when I'm getting a 63 dagger from the auction house. Now, you say, why is 65 instead of a 66? Uh, well, frankly, because I had a bunch of starlight crystals in my inventory. Or, yeah, I had six starlight crystals in my inventory. Level 65 cap ones. You know, if they were Higher, higher level cap ones, obviously, I wouldn't have been worried about using them. So, 66 one would be either, okay, forgive up the Starlet Crystals, or... Yeah, so it have been to, ah, uh, forget about the Starlet Crystals, would have been one of the options I could have done in that case. I thought, well, let's see, just for giggles. I must do something with those Starlight Crystals, so I decided, all right, just use them. I mean, it might be slightly non-optimal. Actually, it probably brings it to about equivalent of a 66 as a result of that. I think it effectively adds one level per Starlight Crystal. You can only put three on a weapon, but I also did the same thing for my tools. Now for that, that's 65 because you could just get a 65 set of tools from the skirmish camp. There you go. Without any trouble. Oh. Uh, I forgot about our friend here. <laughs> I 
Well, I'll just have to... Oh. Oh, that was completely botched. <laughs> Could I have botched that any worse? <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, no, did I not? Yeah. But encounter Gruffio from the south. Let's see how the encounters are in this skirmish. Let the guy get away from me so I could get rid of that. Now. But anyway, so I have 65 set of tools. I think I should, probably optimal would have been to get a 65 sword and just wear a cosmetic dagger. But as I said, I didn't think about that until afterwards. I'm sure at some point we'll see a... A weapon that's going to make what I just did completely obsolete. Maybe that'll be in a couple of levels, especially since I'm going. But when I go through the Great River, ooh, maybe something will drop there. It looks like I've had a lack of good burglar stuff drop while I was here and more. Maybe I should. Of course, I could have just gone into an orc camp and maybe killed them for an hour and probably dropped a couple of them in there. But, well. As you can see, I wasn't in the mood to do so because I didn't do it. Next! That takes care of the inner bailey. So now let's go into the... Uh, no, no, no. That takes care of the outer bailey. Now we go to the inner bailey. That's... Hmm... Okay. I'm trying to see how that portcullis operates. I, I didn't see anything in the ground. Some slots in the ground for the spikes to go into. I, maybe I should have paid a little bit closer attention on that matter. To see what was going on in there. Maybe more like a Corey Olsen thing to do. Check the architecture of the of the area to see what is going on. Now, I didn't like it that it switched targets on me. <laughs> now, to you. But anyway, shards is a way to get web. I usually don't think about using shards to it because I keep on forgetting about those things that they even exist. Of course, sometimes I'm on a server where I just can't find them. In a, and that you don't have too many options of what type you, of weapon you get using shards anyway. Hmm. Uh, let's see what we got here. Aha! Interrupted you. Yeah. So in solo mode, the lieutenants aren't all that bad. Yes, you got the annoyance that if you're, or if you're not careful, you can get to pretty big trouble from a venomous blood arrow, or shepherds of fields could be outright annoying. You know, a couple of them can be deadly here and there, but you just have to keep on your toes, but the raid ones and some of those combinations, you need a really good teamwork, I think, in order to keep everybody alive in there. There you go. Especially at Tier 3 these days, at Cap, ooh, Tier 3 back in the 105 days tier 3 <laughs> simple no problem mm, yeah no problem these days all right downstairs now I prefer to wait for them up here I know some 
I think in raids they're usually worried about the NPC so if they go down and get it maybe also to make things go a little bit faster which I can see but sometimes when you're down there it is hard to pick up the next wave and that's what I'm really usually worried about let's see is when the next wave comes right down here and you have to worry about there you go gotcha yeah we are getting through these at a pretty good clip see because this is the uh, last wave here whack wakey wakey and this is the third of those three skirmishes you get in a row hmm. yes downstairs get three of them very very quick succession boom 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 you finish this skirmish she says okay now this skirmish now this skirmish but now let's see Now we have uh, a few other things to do before we do the next skirmish. Which will be the uh, last of the... Oh. There is one little problem with what my plans were. Because I was saying that I'll be skipping Volume 3. Uh, the, the first half of Volume 3. There is only one little problem to it. And that is... I have to collect the rangers in order to unlock rescue at Nurse Gushu. And I can't go around leaving a skirmish unlocked. Hmm. Well, that takes care of those Zoners. Z let's see. Oh, Zoners. Z Zoners. Zoners. I don't know where they come up with some of these names. But, yeah. Some real tongue ties. Let's see. Distracted and asleep. Eh, oh, that's right, because... Aura. Yeah, Aura. Auras break stealth, because... Or at least damage Auras break stealth. Hey, you! Hey, who woke up the... Did I do something to wake up that troll, or... Or was it just the end of the riddle? I guess riddle doesn't... How long does riddle last? 30 seconds, it says. I guess I didn't know it was 30 seconds. Okay, you are done. Now let's then take care of our friend here and just be happy. I don't have to worry about that stupid Nazgul coming in halfway through the fight. Traveler steel bound loot box. Oh, actually. Alright, let's get rid of that. Because the keys that I have are the old type of keys. Oh. La 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 la. Start with you. We'll start with you. Yeah, he, he's not going to be too much of a problem here. Very easy. I guess T1 solo. There you go. And nothing. Done. The tower has been assaulted. Perhaps we will see this song to the end after all.
Hey, that might be a good idea. Hmm, the battle goes well. Nigura, see, Nigura has been asking you for again. Now that the Golden Host has made it this far up the rocky spire, she believes we may be possible to achieve another objective. Alright. Let's see what this other objective is. Hmm. Talk to Ninglerel at Thongle. Oh, yes, that is down this way. There she is. Uh, what's the objective? The time has arrived to do what we came here to do. Yes, all right, uh, if you say so. We will infiltrate the dungeons after nightfall. Okay. Let's go then. A small force of elves have infiltrated the dungeons of Dol Guldur under cover of darkness, aiming to find and release the dwarf bully from the bonds of his captivity. Well, hopefully this goes better than our last attempt at free Bori. We have made it into the dungeons. Okay, good. But the trick is getting out afterwards, I, I suspect. We must hurry. We believe Bori waits for rescue in the east wing. Let's go inside then. Are you ready? Are you ready? Inside. Everything all nice and locked. Good. Well, it looks like the gates are down nice and firm and secure. There you go. Let's see what's behind this door. Ah, there's a Mori. How about that? That was easy. By Duran's beard. Petronella, you have come for me at last. I did not dare to hope for rescue, but I cannot deny that I am pleased to see you. Uh, you need to make ready for our escape. Pick up one of these barrels of nightshade and bring them into the hall. If any additional guards are on their way, the fumes of the nightshade should render them unconscious. Wonderful. Let's take this. And where's the nightshade? Oh, right there. Oops. Well, let's now take care of these Uruks. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't rush that too much. Uruk 1, Uruk 2, Uruk 3. Hey, come this way. You want it nice inside. Now ignore the dwarf. Go after the hobbit. There you go. Hmm. Now how are we going on this thing? There's one down. Let's see. 14 seconds to go. Those guys are asleep. The next group just walked by and give me plenty of time. Wait, I think I'm getting through this in record time. Good. That should make the trolls a little bit sleepy usually three is enough to take care of this so <sighs> be a little while before that one goes is needed okay those are asleep uh, that pair is asleep uh, good I think it's, let's wait for the next pair to pass, but I got, you would think the number of times I've done this, I would have an idea how long it takes them to do their patrols by now. But apparently the orcs are along their way. Oh, here you are, or Uruks, I guess they are. Well, I guess the cooldown will be Okay, the trolls have just passed by. Good.
Good. Now, where is the next Uruk? Next! And I think by the time I get back to Bori... Those trolls should be snoozing. Especially since it takes Bori a few seconds in order to warm up his legs. Considering all that he's been through. Alright. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to be free of this place. I feared I would die here. Stay close. Here we go. But, yeah. He's been in the dungeons for a while. His legs aren't quite in shape yet. Walk, 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 walk. My legs were numb. They're better now. Good. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Much more like it. I hope you did well with the nightshade barrels. Well, uh, that's four of them that are definitely asleep. Hopefully the last bit are asleep too. Uh, we're almost out of here. Let us be on guard. Well, <laughs> sleeping while standing up. Well, <laughs> something only guards can manage, I think. must be a qualification to be a guard. Now, obviously, it's not a qualification armies look for. They prefer if the guards will actually not sleep while standing up. And they prefer if the guards are actually awake when they're on guard duty. But, yeah. <laughs> Run away! Well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And Bori has been escorted to safety. Yay! I am at your service, and your family's, of course. I will have to open at once. All right. We ran into some trouble without you, Petronella. But victory is ours on this day. Let us leave this dungeon. Right. Let's get out of here. I think we can call that a success. Bori desired to thank you for his rescue. All right, then let's go and speak with Bori inside Northgar, which I believe is... Oh, so, oh, here it is, right over here. Inside. Feeling better, Bori? Ah, uh, I see you found Broin, too. To be rescued, thus. I do not have the words to tell you. Yes, I cannot thank you enough. I thought I had seen the last of you in Zabagothel, deep in the depths of Moria. But it's not enough to be free, while still the enemy has Ziegelberg, because of my actions. We must recover the axe of Mithril before it can be used for some great evil, and we must see Gorothal defeated. Well then, which do I want? Hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm so used to playing a warden, I, uh, I gravitate towards the warden shield. Nah, I guess I'll just take the heritage rune. During my imprisonment, to pass the time, I recited to myself the old stories. And what do these old stories have to do with getting Ziegelberg? We'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays, The Burglar.